Hello, and welcome to an out of this world adventure. Prepare yourself and journey with me as we discover more about reusable rocket technology, a technology that could change space travel forever. I chose to do reusable rockets because of my interest in the space industry. Reusable rockets have the ability to lessen the cost of space travel, make it easier for private individuals to go to space, transport materials into space, or even travel to other planets. What is a reusable rocket, you may ask? Most rockets have two stages. Both stages have their own engines and fuel, but the first stage's responsibility is to get the rocket into the upper atmosphere. Once in the upper atmosphere, the first stage disconnects and falls back to Earth. When a company reuses a rocket, they take the first stage after it falls back to Earth, refurbish it, and use it again. Reusable rocket technology is not a new idea. Reusable rocket technology dates all the way back to NASA's space shuttle. The space shuttle main engines were originally made to be reusable, but this feature was never utilized, as it was cheaper to make new engines than refurbish the old ones. The reason for this being that the engines would land in corrosive salt water after each mission. To retrieve the boosters and repair them cost too much money to make it worth the process of reusing them. SpaceX decided to solve this problem by creating a rocket, the Falcon 9, that would have the first stage fly down after detachment and land itself on a drone ship. SpaceX has two drone ships named Of Course I Still Love You and Just Read the Instructions. The Falcon 9, the reusable rocket at SpaceX, along with its Falcon Heavy counterpart, is a relatively small rocket, standing at only 69 meters tall. The Falcon Heavy and the Falcon 9 are the same height. The Falcon 9 has a mass of 550,000 kilograms and is able to carry a payload of 22,800 kilograms to low Earth orbit. It also theoretically has the ability to carry 4,020 kilograms to Mars. The reusable first stage of this rocket is able to produce 7,607 kilonewtons at sea level and burn for 162 seconds. Now, how does a rocket land itself after detachment? Once the Falcon 9 has left Earth's atmosphere, the first stage of the rocket detaches itself from the rest of the rocket. It is now time for the stage to make its descent back to Earth. The Falcon 9 was built so when the first stage was detached, it still had enough fuel left over to safely land itself on a drone ship. The first step to landing is to, before re-entry, rotate the rocket using the cold gas thrusters located towards the top of the rocket. This ensures that the rocket is descending with the thrusters pointed downwards. The thrusters then fire to bring the rocket out of orbit and into a state of freefall. Grid fins are then deployed at the top of the rocket. The rocket then uses grid fins, which are heat-resistant fins, to steer itself towards the drone ship. Thrusters slow the Falcon 9 on its descent. Before the rocket makes contact, carbon fiber landing gears are lowered. All of these operations are automatically controlled through sensors. As you will see later, if any of these sensors fail, the rocket could crash. Here's an up-close visual of the Falcon 9 rocket. At the top of the rocket, you can see the grid fins, which guide the rocket down to the drone ship. Towards the bottom of the rocket, you can see the carbon fiber landing gears and the thrusters preparing for the rocket to land. Here is an example of a failed landing. The reason this rocket crashed was because its thrusters stopped responding for a few seconds. This caused the rocket to land at too high of a velocity, breaking its carbon fiber legs, causing it to crash and blow up. After four failed landings, SpaceX was finally able to correct its mistakes and successfully landed a rocket.
On April 6, 2016, SpaceX had its first successful landing. Since then, it has succeeded landing multiple Falcon 9 rockets, which is very promising for the future of reusable rocket technology. Founder and CEO of SpaceX, Elon Musk, believes reusable rockets can cut the cost of going to space by, in quotes, as much as a factor of a hundred. In conclusion, after researching all that SpaceX has done to revolutionize the space industry, I have become increasingly interested in their company. One of their future goals is to eventually colonize Mars. By using reusable rockets and cutting the cost of space travel, they plan on reaching Mars and creating settlements. This is no small task and involves a lot of engineering to accomplish. In the future, I would like to research how they plan on making this goal possible.